Hi, I'm Eric Paquette, an automation engineer with Kendall Electric. In this video, I will be discussing the PanelView 5000, which is the newest offering in the line of graphic terminals from Rockwell Automation. These graphic terminals have a high degree of integration between the controller and the HMI. And I will be discussing this along with the other features and benefits. And so by the end of the video, you should have a pretty good understanding of the platform and whether or not it fits your needs. So let's take a look. The PanelView 5000 is divided into two families, the PanelView 5310 and the PanelView 5510. They're both programmed using View Designer, which has been included in Studio 5000 since version 27. One of the nice things about View Designer software is the programming interface is very intuitive and easy to use. If you already have an activation of Studio 5000, View Designer is included and you can begin programming the PanelView 5000s today. If you're using version 6 or greater, there's an emulator included, which allows you to test run your project as if you actually have an HMI connected to your controller. These HMIs are designed to work specifically with the Compact Logix 5370, the Compact Logix 5380, the Compact Logix 5480, as well as the Control Logix L7 and L8 controllers. Much like our other HMI platforms, the 5310 and 5510 differ in the number of controllers that they can communicate with. The 5310 is designed to communicate with one controller, and the 5510 is designed to communicate with up to four controllers. They can each have up to 100 screens, and they can each have up to 4,000 alarms per controller. That gives you a total of 16,000 alarms in the 5510 family. They're both available as touchscreen and are powered with 24 volts DC. They come in a variety of sizes with the 5310 ranging from 6 inches to 12 inches and the 5510 ranges from 7 to 19 inches. Some of those formats are available in widescreen format which is a 16 by 9 ratio rather than a 4 by 3. And the 5310 comes with a single Ethernet port, whereas the 5510 comes with a dual Ethernet port option, allowing you to put it in a linear network or in a DLR device level ring network. One of the cool things about the PanelView 5000 is the integrated navigation menu button. This allows you to navigate between screens with a custom built structure that you design. It's accessed by pressing a soft key navigation menu button, which is also available as a physical key on the bezel in the case of the 5510. No longer do we need to have go to screen buttons taking up valuable real estate on the screen. Another really cool feature is they're programmed with scalable vector graphics and true type fonts. This means that there's no degradation of quality when I scale my project from one screen size to another. So I can easily develop a project once and run it on any size display. One of the unique features of the PanelView 5000 family is the way the alarms are programmed. No longer are they programmed in the HMI, rather they're programmed in the controller. This makes it much easier to add and or change alarms, and it also gives you a better timestamp for when the alarm occurs. It also makes the network traffic less because the HMI is no longer polling for alarms, but rather the controller broadcasts the alarm when the alarm occurs. If you have a motion application, then the high speed HMI push button will be a feature you'll be interested in. This allows you to jog your axes with a connection to the controller that is exactly like a physically wired push button with no lag or delay as often seen in some HMIs due to screen update times. During runtime, the built-in advanced diagnostics allow for troubleshooting of issues much more descriptive and capable than simply enunciating error. It can announce things like tag not found in controller, or the tag doesn't have read properties, or perhaps the, there's an issue with the Ethernet network. Another new feature we have is called add-on graphics. This allows us to design an object one time and use it over and over within a project. This is very similar to add-on instructions that we use in the controller where, say for example, we have multiple pumps. We can design a pump object one time 
and then simply point it to the different tags in the controller for the different pumps. This allows us to reuse that one object over and over without having to design it multiple times. These HMIs also have VNC, Virtual Network Computing. This allows us to monitor and or control the HMI or the machine with a HMI client connected to the local network, or this could even be done over the internet. And I'd just like to mention a few more features before I wrap this up. We do have the ability to do things like data logging and trending. We have the ability to do email notifications right from the HMI. We also have a built-in PDF viewer, and of course we support multiple languages, and many other features as well. Thank you for watching today's video. If you'd like more information on today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric Account Manager or Automation Specialist. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thanks, and see you on the next Kendall Quick Connection video.